so y'all can judge me if you want to. I am recording two videos today, so I've had this outfit on in another video if you watched it, so it's okay. Yeah, right? It's okay. We are killing two birds with one stone today. <laughs> able to go to several yard sales and I haven't been in so long and I don't know if maybe it was just me because I was paying attention but it seemed like there were so many yard sales the weekend after Mother's Day and so I went to a couple I don't normally get out and about on Saturday usually it's our, our day to stay home like all my family's home so I'm home but it was a Saturday that everybody had plans and our church was having a yard sale. So I ran to the church yard sale and they were doing a pancake breakfast and I grabbed some pancakes and then headed out and thought, I'm just going to, when I see a sign, I'm just going to follow that sign and run to that yard sale and just check it out. So that's what I did. And I'm going to show you what I found. <laughs> Another church in town was having a yard sale so I stopped and I found this very unique hand turned piece of pottery but I do not know what it is. I could not figure it out so I didn't end up getting it but I've been wondering ever since so if you guys know let me know. I did pick up a shower chair for my grandpa and grandma they have one but this one is a very large it looks like it will be a lot more comfortable and i only pay two dollars for it my first item this is just a big piece of fabric i haven't even measured yet um how many yards are here did you know how to measure for yards you just kind of do it like this hold your arm up like this and when it comes about to your nose that's approximately a yard so there's a little sewing tip for you but my daughter is taking sewing lessons from my mom and she needs some fabric I recently when we did our big move I of course if you're a sewer you always get a quite a collection of sewing things and I had so much but I wasn't using it so I called a friend of mine that does quilting and I told her come over take whatever you want and just get it out of here at least I know it's going to go and get some use but I so now I have no extra fabric so I saw this piece of fabric and I thought she would like the color because I think she's going to be doing an apron pretty soon and I thought this would be so cute it's kind of like a gingham seersucker that's what it is it's a seersucker fabric so she liked it and so I picked that up for her and this was they told me 50 cents but I just gave him a dollar and told him to keep the change because it's such a huge piece of Another fabric yard sale. and it was one of those yard sales where they had just taken all the clothes and just dumped them out and I'm it, that's just like uh I, I can't do that um I am not a digger so if I just see a piece of something in there I might pull it out but otherwise I'm like eh I'm not going to take the time to do it, but I did find these. We live out in the country and there's dirt and stickers. And so we always leave. I didn't even clean them. Oh, that's so gross. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Uh, I'll throw these in my washing machine and they'll come out really clean. But I picked up these shoes for a dollar, these little slip on slides. And you can tell that they have kind of melted. They've been out in the sun, but our dogs are so bad to chew on our little shoes like this. And so we go through them so quickly so I thought for a buck because these are not cheap to buy they're like anywhere from like 12 to 15 dollars so for a dollar I thought mm, I don't care if the dogs chew on I mean I do care but it's okay if the dogs chew on those so I picked those up for a dollar sorry you had to see the dirty bottoms okay, I picked up this leather guitar strap for my son for a dollar at a yard sale and it's an adjustable strap and it's still in really really good condition I can't imagine how much they paid because it's from the Guitar Center but it is actually leather and so I thought I can't lose I for a dollar a couple of skirts and I grabbed this for my daughter it's a real pretty um, tool I guess you could say skirt but it's fully lined 
and it's pleated. You can see it's such a pretty little fabric over it and it was just in perfect condition and I got this for a dollar. She's growing so much and I know this is too big for her but she will grow into it and I always try to look ahead for her because it's cheaper than having to buy it new. I mean this is 30 bucks for a denim skirt for her new. So I went ahead and grabbed this. It was in perfect condition and they were asking two dollars and I don't have to do any sewing on it because a lot of times they have like slits way up high and I have to sew those down. But this one was in perfect condition for a stack of skirts. I hit the jackpot, but I ended up getting just two of them. This one I will have to sew because it's got a front slit and I, I feel like those are the most immodest out of all of them, especially when you go to sit down. So this one was in really good shape and it also has a cute little um, embroidery stitching on the edge. You can see that. Not very good. Anyways, this was two dollars. And I stopped at another yard sale, and they used to be our semi neighbors, and I know they did catering, so she had tons of like tablecloths and like decor stuff like that, big pots and pans, like huge ones. Like <laughs> I would never use that many, but she had the very nice banquet tablecloths, the ones that drape and go all the way to the floor. And I used to have four of these and I say used to, that's the key word here. People have borrowed them and I was down to two. I was actually down to one and I forgot, like, I know somebody's borrowed it and I don't know where it's been. So I asked and my friend was like, I've had that for a couple of months. I'm like, no big deal. I don't need it. I just need to know where it's at. <laughs> so anyways, she had these and I picked two of them up to replace the two that were lost. So now I have four again, but she was only asking $4 for these and that is a great price. So we do a lot of parties and banquets and things with the church and um, just family stuff. And I like to have a nice black tablecloth and I like the ones that go all the way to the floor because I can hide all the extra stuff, like extra plates if we ran out, you know, napkins, for utensils, all that underneath of there. So I love these ones for $4. That was a really great price. I was very happy to find them. And I actually called my friend because she, we were just talking about it and she's like, mine are missing too. People borrow them and then you forget and they forget and they're gone. So I called her and she's like, yeah, get me two of them. So it worked out really well. So for my other videos that I've been looking at books again. So I picked up another book for the kids. And this one is all about um, sled dogs. And I thought, it's of course another nice picture book. I thought they would find this very interesting. And it has like little bits of reading in it, which is really great because then they can learn about sled dogs. And I love the ones that have like the double cover because usually that means the cover underneath it is still nice and taken care of. So this was 25 cents. If they would have had more books that I liked there, I would have grabbed them because that's so cheap for books. So for a quarter, I gra grabbed this one more, 25 cents, all about penguins. I thought the kids would find that super interesting. And it has wonderful pictures in here and some words and stuff. And I feel like they'll read more about it if there's a little bit of wording by the nice, big, beautiful pictures. So my next item is these beautiful big hat boxes and they were originally asking three for this one and four for this one and so I offered them five for the set and they said yes so I was very happy about that and the reason I got them such a great size the reason that I picked this up is because um, my husband's nephew is marrying my best friend's daughter. One of my best friend's daughter. I feel like I have a lot of best friends. <laughs> I know that because I'm an aunt, I want to get them an extra nice gift, you know, because they're family. And so I love to put the gifts in these instead of a gift bag or trying to find an ugly box. And then this is part of the decor too, and they can use it to store things in afterwards. Or I think they're so pretty. And you can actually paint these or cover them with something else if you didn't like the color. But they're really great for just 
so much stuff, but I love how they just matched and could stop not until like March, April that they're going to be getting married in the shower. I'll probably be around like January ish. And then I can just pick up things here and there and know that I already have something for them to go in. So that's how I am when it comes to gifts. When you have a little bit of time that you could think through and make the gift more thoughtful and not just get a gift card or run out and just buy something and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that that's just how i am i i like to put a little more extra thought in it as soon as i saw those boxes i was like perfect for the shower gift so i was so glad Thank to find so much this. for coming along with me as i went yard selling i would say as i went today but i didn't obviously i didn't <laughs> it's sunday afternoon and i'm still dressed from church so i thought i would take care of this video while my hair was combed <laughs> because um just because if you know me you know it's usually up in a bun and just this that and the other so thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video bye <laughs>